Hello my beautiful Aquarius friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot, I hope everyone's doing well. I want to welcome all the visitors that have been subscribers for a long time back and I'm so grateful for your energy, thank you. At the bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Water, feeling very emotional, feeling not sure what to do about how you're going to manifest someone. All right, so let's see what we have. Your energy first, the Queen of Earth. So you're very grounded right now. You're focused on your career. The energy is really quite lovely. Uh, very Capricornian, very career, very much about your money and your security. So when you look at the person that you're dealing with, you feel as though they offer you a big boost up in security in the relationship. The Sun card says that you feel that this person's a lot of fun, they're on the same page with you, they get who you are. We have the energy of the Hierophant. This is a person you want in your life for a very long time. Your energy towards this person is very much geared to long term. You would like a new beginning with someone. So I feel very much that the relationship to you seems like it's inevitable. It's interesting that the Fool card, though, a new beginning is is in the reading so it does look like you may not have been in communication messenger of air your person has looked you up online whoever it is that you've come to ask about you know these are love readings but they can be any love so what we see here is the king of earth so now we have the queen of earth the king of earth so somebody has taken up sort of an authority role in this in this relationship king of water so there's a lot of emotion here underneath the surface on the part of your person they do love you it shows that you love them because that's the so the mommy and daddy card you know the card of the penultimate power couple people who work together and you feel very sort of married to this person you've known each other a long time your person is very much hiding their emotions and the death card explains the fool card. So there has been some sort of ending in this relationship. Your person doesn't see it re reigniting. The transformation is that there would have to be a very big change in the relationship for your person to really want to revisit. But the two of you are, you know, your soulmates of a certain variety because when we get divine coupled them, it is here. What's the outcome for our Libra friends? Excuse me, that's Aquarius, not Libra. The moon card, what's going on between the two of you is felt by both of you very strong. There's a magnetic pull like of the ocean. Um, both of you are pulled back into the relationship or you would like to be, but there's a lot of fear in what would happen if the two of you come together again, Aquarius. The strength card says that nobody's taking action, that there's, you know, there's still a very strong bond here, but I don't see action. You know, strength card is all about staying in the position, having the courage of conviction. The three of air says that there has been, there was some breakup or heartbreak. Again, these cards certainly indicate that. For this week, justice is going to prevail. The relationship wasn't balanced is what I'm seeing here, and there has to be a better balance. Justice, though, does indicate that, that whatever happened between the two of you was fair, you know, so this, there was something about the situation that just wasn't working. I, you know, there's not any really negative cards here too much other than there's definitely the death card, you know, ending transformation. But it was about the emotions and the two, the way the two of you process your emotions. You still care very deeply about each other, but let's see. It does look like you're in separation, so let's see what the wisdom of the oracle says for you about it at this time. You're both very calm. You're both very much aware of what both you know you give to each other, what you received from each other. A change is in the wind, okay, so there may be there may be communication, but it does speak to the fact that your lives are changing as individuals, certainly. Um, exchanging gifts, okay, so that does imply, of course, that says that the two of you will exchange gifts in some regard. 
and going the distance. So it does speak to a reconciliation of some sort. Let's look what the sacred destiny has for you. But right now, it looks as though there shouldn't have been a situation that came about like this. But it does speak very strongly to the fact that you're very different emotionally. And that difference needs to be recognized. So let's see. We have fulfillment. Okay. So it does look like there's going to be a transformation. I really like the death card. I think that it's so powerful in our lives. It's so important. We don't change without the death card. Openness. Okay. So both of you have to be open. You may be opening your energy to each other. Um, I feel as though, you know, destiny may come into play here. Also, you know, one person may really actually go after the other and try to speak to them in a way that is very helpful. So however that works out for you. I really do feel, Aquarius, that you would have to be the one to break the ice here. I really do, just because your energy is the desire for a new beginning. Your person is really very comfortable with the death card here. So... No love, um, there's a lot of love here, but there's not a compatibility is what I'm seeing. So I'm going to leave it there for you for now. Aquarius, that is an energy update. Energy moves and flows and changes. So we never take a reading as being the gospel for the whole destiny of a relationship. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.